What is up guys, Jack's here um, from the Strong Strategy Gaming. Um, this is going to be the first video going up on the channel, this is my series that I'm doing. And I'm actually starting off with what's going to be probably a shorter series, maybe around about 10-11 episodes. It depends. Um, and I'm sorry, Harry Potter and Death Hallows Part 2. Now I really like this game, um, so I thought I will start, um, I will start playing it from the beginning. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we see how we do. Right, we're playing advanced because we're not a noob. A noob. So Harry, Ron, and Hermione have sneaked into Gringotts in search of one of Voldemort's Horcruxes. With their disguises now gone, they must get into Lestrange's vault quickly. So, if none of you have watched Harry Potter or anything, um, then where have you been? It's a, it's a very good movie. Um, well, very good movies. Um, Cup one of one or two of them not fantastic, um, but yeah. To destroy Voldemort, Harry Potter must first destroy the Dark Lord's main Horcruxes. S is 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 is. I didn't get to read that, but you guys maybe should have. So here we go. Cutscene. Okay, so that is the first cutscene over. Um, I tell you what, I will do. I will put subtitles on just in case. Um, uh, j just in case that you guys can't hear it very well. Um, if it'll be under audio, yeah, it is subtitles. There we go. Okay, so now when they speak, you uh, you better hear what they're going on about. Now the only thing is, I do have every single spell. I think, um, which I think you learn throughout the game I think it was either this one or the last one but I'm not I do have every single spell at the moment um which I don't actually think I meant to but that's only because I've completed the game so that's just now just in mind I do actually remember this game quite well because I remember when it came out I played it so many times in one day absolutely ridiculous but yeah it's a good game so we just got to wait for these up to Hermione to open the door. Oh no, no we don't, okay. I thought that was the one that she had to open. Now if I'm right, you got the little station bit down here and we got to hide because people come through that door. See, I remember this game way too well. Um, but you know, it's still a bit of fun to play through. 
um, again I haven't played it in like such a long time and I thought it is something different um, something different to actually do a uh, series of so I know that then we have to take out these guards and let them go in I'm actually gonna cast um, what's it called um, Confringo Here we go. Come for go. Oh, um, my favourite spell is Expulso, just because Expulso is sort of like the submachine gun type um, spell on Harry Potter. So, like, each sort of spell sort of has a resemblance to a gun, like Stupefy. It's obviously one of the more known spells. is more of like a pistol type thing, because it's, you know, it's so a bit like that. So, like Expulso is a little bit like that, but the longer you hold it, like the worse your aim gets, as you can see. And it's going all over the place, so you've got to really sort of um, keep your spells sort of to minimum. So, sort of just doing little bursts. And we've got Expelliarmus, which sort of um, w when enemies are casting Protego like this, which is to stop spells, cast Expelliarmus, uh, Expelliarmus at them, it will disarm their um, Protego. Confringo pretty much just knocks them to the ground, um, which I'll show you in a minute. Wh which was that? It was actually the one that um, I showed you at the beginning when I tried to. This is Confringo. Oh no, that's so exciting! That's Confringo, and it sort of just blows up. Um, and you've got Impedimenta which again is one of the very good spells on this game it does that you lock on and it whacks him on the head okay and we've also got Petrificus Totalus which just sort of stuns them and then that he kills them like that um, I think that is pretty much all the spells yep that's all the spells um, pretty much gone through so now I've got a rough idea of what sort of spells I'm going to be using and what, f like what I'm going to be using them for so, I mean, Impedimenta is sort of a good spell for big crowds of um, enemies. Because you lock on, and I think you can lock on to a maximum of three or four people, I think. Um, so, so, actually, I, I sh I'll show it to you here. Right, let's lock on like that. And like, it spreads out and then takes them all out. Nice and simple, even if they're behind a barrier, it will still go over and hit them on the head. So now if I remember rightly, me and Ron have got to defend Hermione from people coming in this way. No, okay. I know we do have to do that, but obviously I haven't played it for such a long time. I have a very vague memory of it. Obviously the dragon is coming up soon. Okay, so this is where now I've got to start using Protego. So I can get a little bit closer to him see because like, I can just sort of block his spells without taking much damage and now let's cast Confringo at him there we go took him out in one. Oh, here we go okay let's use impedimental on that guy and there we go he's down oh, wait no he is here he is see I mean really impedimental is quite an OP spell in in some cases. I mean, look at this. <laughs> that is brilliant. Okay. Um, but yeah, but say that the more powerful spells sort of have a cooldown time. So stuff like Confringo, when you cast it, a little blue circle that's going round, that's the time before I can cast another one. Stuff like Superfight doesn't have that. You can cast as much as you want just because, you know, it's your average spell. Um, but say, it's stuff like Impedimenta. Um, uh, as expe yeah, Expelliarmus has got it, but it's not as long because it's not as advanced. So, like, the more advanced the spell is, the longer the um, cooldown time is before you can um, cast a spell again. Okay, right. So, I have got to protect them now because you get some um, guards down here. Let's get impedimenta out because I remember it's a very good price to use impedimenta now. Okay, at the beginning of this, 
at the beginning of this game when I played it very first time I didn't have any of these spells so it does sort of make it a little bit easier um, in some ways and also you know a little bit funner as well um, just because you've got a little bit more free range of like what's what what like what sort of spells you want to use. This is Jukas Tatalus on him. Oh, he just used Confringo on the bitch, bitch, and the he used Confringo on the bitch. Okay, right. He's got oh oh I could have sworn that was Hermione. <laughs> Oh, that was a pretty bad car, so let's just let's take them out. Boom! Nice. Oh, quick, 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 into cover, into cover. Keeps a gunner. Hello, Rod. Nice to see you there. Okay, and let's get them to. No problem, because as I say, like, if I was playing this properly at the moment, the only spell I would have probably been using is Stupefy. And uh, that is a, that would have made this game a, a lot harder. Um, well, it, it was it was a lot harder like, when I started first playing it. Um, but obviously now I've got every spell to use. So it's sort of nice, but you know, let's use a bit of Stupefy anyway. It's not my favourite spell, obviously, because it is the weakest spell of them all in Weight of Harming, I mean, actually the weakest spell of them all is um, Expelliarmus, because it does no damage, but it just, because it um, sort of, it disarms the opponent, so it's not really used for that, but yeah, for damage wise, Stupefy is the worst, but obviously, you know, that's the very first one you get, so, now this is where I need to defend her, so me and Ron are now just going to be Oh. Uh, yeah, we see we can't let her. Oh wow, you lucky son of a bitch! Right, there, mate. <laughs> I love doing that, going out to people with Protega. Oh god, Jesus Christ! They're, they're really harming Hermione. Jesus, Jesus, surely in half health. Okay, here we go. Did take forever. He died. Mm -hmm. well, I'm hoping to get this chapter finished by the end of this episode, so then I can just sort of do a chapter per episode. But you never know; that may not happen. Okay, good time to use impedimenta. That's the wrong spell. Check this Let's use it on both of them too. Let's see if I can quickly target both of them. Oh yeah. Now there is actually a really good place to use this spell down here, I think, and it's down on this guy up there. Okay, now this is where it's good to use impedimenta. It's quite a fun place. <laughs> oh no, one survived. Damn you! You ruined my amazing casting of Impedimenta. Cause say like usually I would have had to take in all of them like out with Stupefy. Which would have been a little bit harder, but obviously using Impedimenta on them is a tiny bit OP. So now I've only walk. This is where the dragon is. Oh, spoilers. There he is, right over there mate. Okay, now on to the dragon. So we got to get behind these podium things. Right, so now I've got to sort of make my way across without being burnt. Okay, now this one then I can take cover behind. So now I can just wait for that. 
Now I can take cover. Okay, yeah, now I've got to cast at these little sort of lantern type things. It might help by a better spell. Go, 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 go. Okay. And then all of a sudden these two appear out of nowhere. Because they were a load of help. I hate Grip Hook. Really, how did he pull that out from? See, all of this stuff, like all these cuts and stuff, if you've watched the movie, it was a lot goddamn worse than that. <laughs> they nearly got like, drowned in it. Bitch. This is why I hate him. Nice. Come on. Day in Green Guts on Green Guts, sorry, not Green Guts. So yeah, that is the first chapter over with, um, and the first part of the series over with. Um, there we go. Now, Voldemort. Not quite the end yet. Okay, so next episode I'll be going into Hogsmeade, so um, look out for that. Um, obviously, the next video that will be on this channel will be um, from Ben 2020, so watch out for that. A um, little bit of spoiler alert, I think he's doing a Minecraft Let's Play. Um, not too sure, but I think that's what he's doing. So. Thank you guys for watching, I'm Jax9, leave a like and subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.